Let's discuss the matters of the spirit now. So this is the story. Ten virgins. All preparing to meet a king. And the Bible says all of them carried lambs. Remember we are discussing things of the spirit. Are we together? The Bible tells us very clearly that lamb is the word of God. Is that true? Psalm 119. Give it to us. And verse 1, 1 and 105. So every one of the ten was open to the ministry of the word. Follow me now. They had lambs. They were Bible students. They were people of the word. That was what even made them virgins because we are born of the word. So their access to the word qualified them to be virgins. But their access to the oil qualified them to tap the wisdom of God. Remember the wisdom that is hidden that none of the princes knew is only revealed by the spirit. Whoever has the spirit is the one who can access the wisdom. Are we following now please? And so the Bible says thy word is a what? So we know. It didn't say it's like a lamp. It's a lamp. So what all ten were holding was their encounter and their ministry with the word. Are we together now? That word. They had the word. They knew the word. They were students of the word. But five said, mm -mm, we understand that in spiritual things, it is always the word and the spirit. Not the word alone. Please follow me. The word and the spirit. Isaiah 48 and verse 16. God never sends a man just with the word alone. Read it with me, please. Come ye near unto me. Uh-huh. Hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was. There am I. Now all of us read together. One to read. And now the Lord God. Uh-huh. And his spirit had sent me. The Lord God. Alongside his spirit. The word and the spirit sent me. Not the word alone. Are we together now? Access to the word without the spirit is what produces rituals and legalism and 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 veers people out of the life of God ever learning one way the devil makes you to become less spiritual is by creating a religious culture around the world Satan can destroy your spiritual life by giving you a Bible He said, ye search the scripture for in them ye think you will find life. He can occupy you with the pride. I hope you know, I, 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 I trust that God will grant us grace to learn. That, do you know what we call the council of the Sanhedrin? Pastor, do you know where it was inaugurated? That inauguration started with Moses. The 70 elders that were called. What happened to them? It was the ministry of the spirit that birthed that counsel. But by the time we get to Jesus in the gospel, they had thrown the spirit away and all they had was the letter. So when Jesus came and saw them, he said, what happened? You didn't start this way. There were commandments and the spirit on Moses came on 70 of them. And so they were put as a system of eldership to preserve the precepts of God. By the time we get to the life of Jesus on earth, these guys had thrown the spirit out of the equation. Yet they had the Torah, the Pentateuch, the five books of Moses. Even Satan has the lamp, but does not have the spirit. So if your system of defense on earth is just to possess the lamb and by no means demeaning the word please don't get me wrong and there is a lot of teaching around the world and that is true but what we do not understand it is that the lord god and his spirit had sent me attempting to access the spirit without the lamb is what will 
because people the word of god defines the boundaries of the operations of the spirit you see the same way the oil is put in the lamp so the lamp contains how far the oil should walk so if you do not have the word then when the spirit comes your appetite for hunger will dapple you into witchcraft and you do not know what agency is sponsoring that act the oil is only useful when it is inside the lamb. Please follow me. This is the hidden wisdom of God that was preserved for the glory of the saints. That means when you see someone quoting scripture, why is my life not moving? There is no glory in my life. I can diagnose spiritually like a doctor that you are not accessing the hidden wisdom of God. And one of it is what is shrouded in this mystery of the ten virgins. The Lord and his spirit had sent me. It is always the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit. Everyone please say the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit. It looks like we have a generation right now that allows you to choose. So there are word people and there are spirit people. The spirit people are the ones who fall down. The word people are the ones who are intelligent. Both are in trouble. Are we together now? It is the ministry. Without the oil, the lamp will... Do you know the fire will hurt the... What they call it now? The weak. Without the oil, the fire will destroy the weak. It is the oil that makes the weak to keep standing. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we can carry an empty scripture. Oh, in the name of Jesus, blessed is the man that fears the Lord. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever. You are not lying, but it has no effect in the spirit like a lamp with no oil. The realm of the spirit continues to watch you and there is no life giving factor. The word himself walked as if he was not the word till the spirit came upon him your word walked for 30 years as the son of joseph never called the christ till the spirit listen this lamp you see was a person they were holding <sighs> this entire story when jesus came as the lamp and was walking after 30 years listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully the bible tells us that uh, you know well let's let's just continue what we are discussing jesus goes to john the baptist he didn't say john teach me <laughs> he was the word don't forget john your ministry is that i cannot walk in glory even as the word until you cause that there be access to the spirit and then baptism when john came out the bible says the heavens were open the same way the other virgins began to pour oil inside the lamb the spirit of god came from heaven upon jesus and turned him into the christ from that time he went to the wilderness for 40 days he came out the bible says his fame went abroad strange things began to happen to him he said how god anointed the word with the holy ghost anointed with the holy ghost and leave power anointed with the holy ghost it is always the word and the spirit the ministry of the word the ministry of the spirit let me tell you what the word does and and i submit to you i don't claim to know everything but i'm a bit concerned at our I, and i don't speak to house of david i'm just speaking apostolically the the scope of the understanding of many people about the word our approach to the word is the same approach to a charm and that is wrong the word of god 
in terms of its operation is not a mystery the goal of the word of god is to construct in us the value system the word is supposed to do something are we together now please listen very carefully the word of god is not some superstition thing to just hold and just um and it's, it's not necessarily in in that that charm like manipulation of it no the word of god is a spiritual medium that does many supernatural things among them these giving you the mind of christ it begins to culture and alter your perspectives the word of god is a compendium of the methodology the modus operandi of the kingdom so when you operate by the word is supposed to be a system of spiritual education that brings you to think like christ you begin to understand the things of the spirit god's operation his system of operation are we together so i can know you are accessing the word not just by your ability to quote it that the word of god has so influenced you influenced your faculties when i see you i should find it hard to trace you to any nationality on earth because the word of god has created out of you a culture that cannot be traced to any nationality this is the operation of the word so I should be able to see a Yoruba man and an Igbo man and a Northern man. And when two of you stand influenced by the word, you should look like family members. If it is really the word, you should look like family members. It should be so difficult to separate you into geographic contexts. So if I'm still alive to my foundation, then it's a sign that the word of God has not prevailed. Because all ten were virgins. Nothing more was said about them. The word of God unified them to one family. It was the lack of the Holy Spirit that diverged them to different. The Bible never says there were 10 sisters. It never said there were 10 relatives. Because of their possession of the lamb. It didn't even tell us the sizes of the lambs were the same. The fact that you had access to the lamb qualified all of you to be called one family. This is the ministry of the word. Is God blessing us tonight? But the challenge usually is the ministry of the spirit. And I'll tell you why. Because for you to begin to engage the ministry of the spirit, it will do many things to you number one the ministry of the spirit will in many regards insult your sense of maturity and order the character of the spirit was given in john chapter 3 and verse 8 the wind blow it the word is orderly there is a system of order but when you come to the ministry of the spirit it demands extreme flexibility are we together now so the wind blew it where it listed. The candle wick does not move around, but the oil can move around even though within the vessel it is it, it can be confined. This dimension of the Holy Spirit is, is, is a threat to tradition. Are we together now? So when you begin to operate by the ministry of the spirit and now you see someone dancing like a fool, you know, now there's a problem with this one. You see where the problem is? There is no problem talking, acting intelligently. I mean, remember you went to school and now something comes upon you and you have to dance or something comes upon you and you have to laugh and you are saying, hallelujah, I don't even know what is happening to me. I'm jumping around and they say, now I know that this your spirit thing has a problem yet that was the, the same thing that we call foolish is what made the virgins wise so the canal man he says cannot receive the things he never said the canal man cannot receive the word he said the canal man 
can still be a virgin but when it the true test of spirituality is the ability to sustain the flexibility to be balanced yet to be able to receive that means that if someone is shouting there under the anointing um, I know that I am um, this is a church with order but your pastor has that spiritual intelligence to know that that shout is not just rowdiness there is something being birthed in the spirit I understand how easy it is come my dear to look at this lady and say in the name of Jesus I speak over your life be healed but when the Holy Ghost tells you just walk around this lady move like this you see that's the ministry of the spirit that one now even you the doer you are you are threatened by what the newspaper will interpret this thing to be uh, you, you would rather be confined our interpretation of spiritual things is proof of the absence of the oil in the lamb Yet the Bible says it is in accessing that hidden wisdom that the glory of the saints lie. That means sometimes it is in my jumping in the room alone and saying hallelujah. Lord I don't know what you are doing but I'm just jumping like a fool. And the Bible says my glory is being programmed in that. It doesn't make sense to me but it is the ministry of the spirit. Why will a tenant be rejoicing and just say oh thank you oh oh lord i give you praise i'm dancing a husband holds his wife and says we've been barren for five years but let's roll on the carpet and that, that's what the holy spirit is saying and you just look at him and say you mean it no wonder you don't have a child with with this kind of sense that i mean what is all this and three months later they tell you the woman carried triplets Eight years of birth compressed in nine months the glory of the saints if she gave birth to only one child she would sponsor the child but now a rich man gets interested in these triplets and said look the fact that they are triplets I want to pay their school fees till university the ministry of the spirit alas master for it was borrowed where fell it and carries a stick and throws it down hidden wisdom I'm not talking of superstition my brothers and my sisters please let's not confuse what I'm explaining here there are lots I'm not talking of superstition at all let me emphasize it again this is not some superstitious things no the spirit the supervisor of the strangeness we give you god the highest praise from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. we give you god the highest praise yeah. 